So where are the kids today? Let me see your hands. Put your hands up. Bevia, George, that's you. Over there. Let me see your hands in the back. Come on. Put them high. I can't see that. Hi. Hello. Give me a wave. Okay. I know you all are here. Have a seat. So what have we been talking about last week? Who remembers? Not in the first row. That's cheating. Who else remembers what we talked about last week? Okay. Front row. Moses. And what was Moses doing when we last saw him? The ten plagues was like a month ago. Okay. We're on the other ten. What's the other ten that has to do with Moses? Come on. The Ten Commandments. There we go. The people of Israel had just gotten to the mountain, and there they hear the Ten Commandments. Now, who remembers one of the Ten Commandments? Even one of the Ten Commandments. I'm not asking for the number. I'm not asking for the order. One of the Ten Commandments. Obey your parents. Strictly speaking, it says, honor your father and mother. I don't think it actually says obey. Obedience comes along with honor. And if we want to talk about what it means to honor our parents, we can go on for a long time. Because the thing is, that doesn't stop when you leave the house. Obedience might. Honor, never. What else? Another one of the Ten Commandments. Good one. What do you have? Don't be jealous of other people. That's right. It says don't covet. Don't desire what somebody else has. Which is said a different way. Be content with what you have. Don't look at the other people. Right? That's a good piece of advice for us when we come to church. Yeah? Don't look at each other. Look at God. What's another one of the Ten Commandments that you all remember? Oh, you got another one. Lay it on me. Hmm? Don't lie. That's right. It says, do not bear false witness against your neighbor, which is to say, don't lie. Tell the truth, especially when you're talking about somebody else. That's another good one for us, because otherwise, we sort of talk about things we sort of heard, and it might be true, and it might be not. But if we don't know, we should keep our mouths shut. Right? What else? Don't steal. That's exactly right. Don't take what belongs to somebody else. Kind of goes along with the don't be jealous, but, you know, the one is don't look at it and don't want it, and the other is even if you do look at it and want it, don't take it. Right? What else? Keep the Sabbath day holy. That's right, which is to say for us now, remember to honor God on the day that is set apart for it. I said last week that we don't honor the Sabbath day anymore because the Sabbath day is Sabato, Saturday. We don't worship on Saturday anymore. What day do Christians worship on? Sunday. What's Sunday in Greek? Kyriaki. And what does Kyriaki mean? The thing that belongs to the Lord. So it's even more than the Sabbath. It's the day that belongs to God. So what that says is, on the day that belongs to the Lord, do what honors Him. Do what is right. I'm going to go back to the front because I see hands up there. Another one of the commandments. What do you got for me? They already said that back there, but good job. What else? What do you got, James? Don't commit adultery. Okay, that's a good one. Kind of also can go along with don't covet. What it really means is when you get married, stay married, and don't act like you're married until you're married. Fair enough? For more information, ask your parents. <laughs> yes. Right. 
you shall have no other gods before me. That's kind of important. We worship one God, and we can't put anything else before God. It kind of goes along with that Sabbath day, right? Because we, well, we're human beings. We like lots of things. George, what's your favorite thing in the world? What's your favorite thing in the world? What do you like the best? Math? That is not what I expected him to say. Are you allowed to like math? more than God? No. It's good to like math. So he says, you shall have no other gods before me. So God's on top. He comes first, and then everything else comes as a gift from God. George likes math. Other people like food, or money, or work, or other things or sports, or TV, but God says, you shall have no other gods before me. So, what, do you, what else you got? Oh, go ahead, Emma. Do not murder. Okay, any questions on that one? Don't kill. And we understand by extension, don't do violence against someone else. So if you really want to hit somebody, if you really want to hurt somebody, God says, don't. And we can talk more about that otherwise. What else? What do you got then? Don't steal. I heard that one back there, but it's a good one. Good job. Anyone that I haven't heard from yet? Okay. There are some more in there, but we're going to kind of stop because I want you to understand there are two basic kinds of commandments, and it's easy to remember if you think about it this way. The first few commandments have to do, go ahead and put your hands down. The first few commandments have to do with how do we treat God, okay? What is the right way to act towards God? So we hear, you shall have no other gods before me, don't make any graven image, you shall honor the Sabbath day to keep it holy, there's a, I don't, hang on. Remember the, oh, and don't take the name of the Lord your God in vain, right? The first few have to do with how do we treat God. That's the first four. The other six are about how do we treat our fellow man. So do you remember when Jesus is going around and some guy comes and says to him, teacher, what is the greatest commandment? How do you read it? Remember this? And Jesus says, the greatest commandment is, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your mind and all your strength and all your soul. And the second commandment is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. So as Christians, we're supposed to love God and love our neighbor. And the Ten Commandments kind of give us some basic guidelines for how to do that. But if we ever can't remember all ten of them, break it down to that. Love your God, love your neighbor. Fair enough? So while Moses is up on the mountain hearing the Ten Commandments, God also tells him how to build a temple and how to worship him and all sorts of things. And he's up there for 40 days. And meanwhile, down in the camp, the people are getting impatient. We hear next week what they did while they got impatient. For now, stand up, go to the back. It's time for communion. Go to Sunday school. Teachers, Please remember, we do have a Sunday school teachers meeting after the service. When you come downstairs, please grab some coffee and then come for the meeting. Thank you all.